What's up, youth workers? Paul Turner here from thedisciplerproject.net and paulturnerspeaks.com. Here with you today to play a game, kind of. Uh, this is not the traditional game video that I normally provide for you, but I find that in the fall season, especially during retreat times, things like that, you might need a kind of a maybe hangout game or something that you're, you know, just sitting in the cabin or you're just hanging out with kids in a small group. You said, well, I'd like a game. Paul, what do you recommend? Let me talk to you today about a game called Flux. And Flux is an ever-changing card game uh, that is super easy to play. Now, before I get into that and show you some of the dynamics of that, today we have the wheel, but we're not gonna spin it today. We're spinning it next week, the last Wednesday of the month. So here's what I need you to do. This I'm gonna ask you a question and your comments. I will randomly draw from the comments that you leave down below and you could win stuff. That's what's on the wheel here. You could win coffee, you could win free lessons, you could win uh, a planner, like my youth ministry playbook. Uh, I'm gonna be coming out with a new one very soon for 2020, so be aware of that. Um, all kinds of things on here. You get a youth ministry shout out maybe, right? I'll say, look, tell me your name of your youth group and I will do a flat out shout out for you. Maybe even do your announcements for you. How about that? So leave your comment down below to this question. What is your favorite way to follow up with students who visit your youth ministry? What is your favorite way to follow up with students? So I want you to leave a comment there down below and then I will spin the wheel uh, next week and you could win all kinds of cool stuff. So go ahead and leave your comments down below. And right now, let me show you how to play this game called Flux. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with some of the cards you need to be familiar with. Uh, the first one is a goal card. And a goal card is simply uh, what you're trying to shoot for. You're saying, look, I need to get these two flags right here. That needs to be in my keeper pile, and I need to go ahead and get those to go ahead and win the game. That's the goal. So that's the goal. And then you have what is called keeper cards. As you can see here, that has one of the flags there, the royal flag. And you say, well, if I get that in my hand, I want to put that down as one of my keeper cards. Of course, things change because both the, the goals can change, the rules can change, and that's why it's called flux because things can change. Next, there's an action card. And the action card uh, lets you do things uh, that that may some, some may consider mean. And this particular one here, you could play that on another opponent and say, look, you've got to discard all the cards in your hand and you must go ahead and choose new cards. The next card is a rule card. And all these, these cards can be placed anytime and you say, well, how do you do that? Well, you say, well, look, if I get that, if I draw that in my hand, I say, look, I can play that. And that means, say, look, I can take somebody else's keeper card, somebody else's keeper card here I can take from them once per turn. So if my go around goes like this and I go ahead and play, that's the rule at the time, then I can take somebody else's keeper card. So let's say I'm shooting for these two cards, these two cards here, and I already have this one and somebody else has the, uh, the black, uh, pirate one there, well then I can go ahead and steal that from another opponent and then I went ahead and won the game. These games are very short. Uh, they don't necessarily go on forever. Uh, I'd say probably about 30 minutes, maybe 45 minute max uh, game time. But as you're playing, you start figuring out that you can have action cards and you got the keeper cards, then you got the, the new rule card. So if you have a new rule, and let's say you want to change the rule, well, let's see. So let's go ahead and play that. That says, look, the new rule is not that you can't steal somebody else's card now. You got to go ahead and say, look, you can now play three cards at a time. So that's a benefit as well. So every time someone wants to change the rules and you draw that card, you can go ahead and, because the rule is here, right here, the very basic card is draw one, play one. That's it. You draw a card, you play a card. You deal three cards at a time, and you get three cards at the beginning, and then you just draw one, play one. That's how you go, unless the rules change, which means it says you could draw two, or you could draw four, or whatever that rule may be. The next card is a surprise card. And the surprise card is you can play that anytime you want. So this particular card is canceled plans. So let's say I just go ahead and made this my goal. Well, I cancel that plan, and I don't want that to be the new goal because I'm trying to get a different set of goals. I'm trying to collect a different set of cards. And so I go ahead and cancel that plan and that is then tossed away. 
The last card you need to be aware of is the Shackles card. And the Shackles card is no bueno. That's not what you want there because it stays face up in front of your hand there uh, next to your cards there and it says, look, you can't win the game if you have the Shackles card. And so the only way to get rid of it is if you have, let's say, what's called the Captain's Hat is on the table and that's there and you have that as a keeper. Uh, or if um, you have what's called the Booty Keeper. And the Booty Keeper, if you have that, you can go ahead and discard this card. And there are other cards where you can transfer it to somebody else. And so those are all the cards that you need to be aware of. Okay, so I've gone ahead and dealt three hands right here. And uh, so you can kind of see what I'm doing as I'm playing out. So let's say it's my turn. And my goal is here simply to draw one and play one. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a card. And it's actually a new rule card, so I can keep that. I don't have to show these cards to anybody, by the way, unless the card tells me I have to lay it out, like a keep or something like that. Uh, but I have... Um, a uh, new rule here that says, uh, to, uh, it says, except during your turn, you can only have two keepers in play. Uh, discard extra ones of your choice. So I'll make that my rule. So I went ahead and took that rule, and then I have these. I have some action cards that I can play on my turn if I want. Uh, let's say it's this person's turn. Now, they don't like that rule. So they say, look, I'm going to do a new rule that says, look, draw two cards per turn. So instead, it says the person who played this card should draw extra cards right away if needed so that they have drawn two cards this turn. So they went ahead and changed the rule, okay? Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to take a card. So they got another rule here. They can go ahead and play that later on if it benefits them. All these cards you play to benefit your hand uh, or your, uh, you know, what you're trying to accomplish. So whether you need to find a card and you need to draw two more cards or you have cards in your hand, you want to play two more cards. So you want to be able to play multiple cards at the same time. And then the third person here, well, they have, um, let's see, they're going to draw a card. Oh, they have a new rule too. So now the new limit is, and a lot of this is just to mess with people. So the hand limit there says, look, you can only have one card in your hand. That means you have to get rid of cards and only have one card in your hand. So you notice that a card hasn't come up yet that's a goal card. Let's see. So, ah, so there's a goal card. Oh, blow the man down, please blow the man down. Give me So when you get a goal card, you can immediately put that right out there uh, and say, what is the goal? The goal here is Yo-Ho-Ho -ho and a bottle of rum. So you need both that card and the rum card. Okay, so you need both of those cards as keepers to be able to play those. And the hand continues to go around. People take take one and play one. The rules constantly change. The goals constantly change, possibly, it's because you say, well, I have this, but I don't have, uh, you know, that. You maybe say, well, I want to try to find that. Or you say, I have other cards. I would like to change the goal to this and this. I have those in my hand. And so as you go around, things begin to change. And that is flux. All right, well, I hope that you guys enjoyed uh, the game that I showed today. I hope that you'll check it out. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and put some links down in the description below there that you can go ahead and purchase these on Amazon. I am an Amazon affiliate, and so if you choose to buy any of these decks or all of them, uh, I'll get a couple of nickels that will help support the channel. So don't forget, October's coming up. Maybe a little zombie flux for the Halloween uh, season there. Uh, once again, the pirate flux is probably my favorite because there's a card in there that says you have to talk like a pirate while you're playing. So that's one of my favorites. And don't forget, next week, you're going to be spinning the wheel. So your comment, answer the question of the day is this. What is your favorite way to follow up with guests in your youth ministry? So leave that comment below. We'll go ahead and spin the wheel next week, and somebody's going to win some cool prizes. All right? Well, that's it for today, guys. Appreciate you guys hanging out with me, and I will catch you guys in the next video. We'll talk to you guys later.